Featuring photographs, memorabilia and anecdotes, this exhibition recalled those glorious days in Musenberg and provided a unique insight into the origins of this fascinating seaside town. We call the exhibition Memories of Musenberg. It is a tribute to the past, to the memory of your families and the stream of holiday makers that invaded this little shtetl for a few months every year and added their own flavour to the seaside town. And as you wander between the stands, you may recognise the tockers or the musicants or the shapers. You may remember the sterns or the barnets. And you also might wipe away a tear at seeing those no longer with us. I'm a homegrown girl and it was a privilege to grow up in this unique place called Musenberg. What Musenberg had when we were young was a vibrant Jewish community and a vibrant holiday Jewish community. Practically every other house in our street was occupied by Jewish friends. There was a strong sense of community. We were like a, one big family and everyone cared for one another. We were involved in the community. My husband joined the Cheder and became chairman of the Cheder and um, from there he graduated to the Shul Committee and became very involved in Shul Affairs. The very first uh, Yontif that we spent in the Musenberg Shul I was not able to get a, a seat in the shul because the shul was so, so packed. Everybody used to come to shul in those days. Both the residents, I think we had about 500 Jewish residents in the community then. And also the visitors used to flock to Musenberg in the summer season. And uh, the young people, the little children, used to sit on the steps of, of the shul. Almost everything that we see in this exhibit um, uh, happened to me. I was bemitzvahed at the synagogue. I went to the Hebrew school, Cheda, all the time. I had additional Hebrew lessons with uh, Mrs. Levinson. We had a blast. This is a panel with Cubs, Brownies and Guides. Lady Baden-Powell, the originator of the Girl Guide movement, shook my hand because she was highly amused that I was the tiniest guide in the God of Honor. There were two Boy Scout troops in Musenberg. Uh, the second Musenberg Boy Scout troop was the Jewish um, Boy Scout troop. We had a very vibrant uh, Boy Scout organization. We used to go camping every summer. It had won more uh, medals in the Boy Scout competitions uh, in Cape Town than any other uh, Boy Scout troop. We all used to wait for the visitors to come down and that was called the season. One can't wait for the first swim. One can't wait to just feel the soft sand underneath your feet. That's a bodyboard and uh, everybody had those. So the two wooden things that everybody came down to the beach with was one of these so that you could go out and bodyboard and beach bats and there were, there were people who were great beach bat players. They'd stand far apart and volley to each other for literally hours on end. It was one of the great things at the beach. It was 1945, and in those days, the snake pit was the center where everybody met. If you found a place to sit, let alone lie down, it was a miracle. Going to the beach and searching for your friends on the snake park was quite an achievement. Those are times that one remembers with great happiness. One of the boards that I'm most proud of is this one, of people who met in Musenberg and then were married. There was a request for, for people to come forward and send us their photographs. This photograph shows the chemistry. It shows the kind of joy there was in meeting someone for the first time and falling in love. Musenberg was popular and of course the hotel life played a very important role in Musenberg. 
The Esplanade was perhaps one of the grander kosher establishments, very well run. And for the first time in my life, I met people who were Lithuanian Jews who only spoke Yiddish. And these little old ladies came for two weeks or three weeks, depending on their finances. Most of them never sunbathed, most of them never had a swim. They just enjoyed the fresh air, the luft, which they believed would invigorate them and restore them and make them well for another year from wherever they came. One year we went to Musenberg and we stayed in one of the kosher hotels. We stayed the whole place up there. There was a canter and the sidorium and it was just too wonderful. The great Jewish sage Chovetz Chaim once said that Jewish communities are like points of light on a darkened map and the stronger the Jewish commitment and consciousness is, at that place the brighter the light.